A rather healthy tropical wave marching across the Atlantic for this time of year. This is the first tropical wave of the season. These types of waves are not water waves. they are showers and storms above our heads. I do not expect any development out of this uh, over the next uh, several days or so. Out here, conditions are not conducive for development, which is a good thing. But what's going to happen is, as these waves march across toward the Caribbean, they'll eventually increase our chance of rain in the Caribbean, and that's when we we could start to see a better chance of development. Right now, here's our dry air tracker. You see this kind of orangey shading in here, right? That's some dry air around this area. That's going to help prevent any development. This time of year, we see the tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa, but we don't really look here for development. We actually look a little bit closer to home for development. And let me show you why. Closer to home, water temperatures are much, much warmer. Eastern Pacific, we're running at 31 degrees Celsius, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. I do believe we have a better chance of Alvin forming in the Eastern Pacific. I wanna show you the possibility of that tropical storm in just a second. Over toward the Gulf, it is warming, the Atlantic, and much of the Caribbean. Those water temperatures are really warming up. Later in the season, the water temperatures warm up off the coast of Africa and in through parts of the Central Atlantic right now. They're pretty much too cool, running at 24 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit, and there's a lot of dry air. It's still kind of the dustier season. We get those areas of dust and dry air that move across and help uh, things not develop, which is what we like to hear. Now, I want to show you the dust and the potential of tropical development down the road in a moment. What's going on right now? Still some scattered areas of rain for some of our islands in the Eastern Caribbean, still some heavier pockets. Guyana and Suriname, we've been watching that. Spotty showers possible as we go throughout the day. Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, we may catch a few. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Dominica, uh, Martinique, Guadalupe, a couple. Not as much, though, as we get back toward the northeastern Caribbean. But Puerto Rico, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, we may get a few thunderstorms around. And then I'll show you the potential of more severe weather in parts of the U.S. I'll show you that in just a moment that will be on the move. Here's the broad picture and where you see these colors these yellow shadings in here and some of the blues that's some of the Saharan dust I mentioned this time of year because of the global trade winds we get either dust or tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa moving across we have that one tropical wave and we have some of the dust around in parts of the Eastern Caribbean this is what's going on now now by the time we get into the end of the week some of this dust feeds right into the Western Caribbean and parts of the Gulf and the Bay you see near Mexico, Belize, Honduras, uh, Jamaica, we'll see an increase in some of the dust. Not too terribly thick, but if you do have some breathing issues by the end of the week, Central and Western Caribbean, we'll also notice some uh, issues uh, with the dust and uh, being mindful, of course, uh, if you have any uh, additional uh, breathing issues, they, they may kind of add on to uh, that with the uh, dust particles in the air. Now, switching over to the possibility of some development, this is early June. You can see in the Western Caribbean, this is the European model, painting in some yellow, still about a 30 to 40% chance of development. I'll show you a slight chance in just a moment, a much higher chance of development though, on the Eastern Pacific side. Andrea is the first name in the Atlantic Basin, Alvin is the first name in the uh, Pacific. Different water basins have different sets of names, and we will see the possibility of Alvin developing. I want to show you that. Now, for today, let's start short term, and then let's work into June, and then I'll widen out to the U.S. You see those scattered areas of rain, Guyana, Suriname, still around uh, parts of Costa Rica, Panama, hit or miss, uh, St. Lucia, Dominica today, and then for tomorrow or Wednesday, watching out for more scattered areas of rain, Bahamas. Bahamas, Florida, Cuba, uh, still mainly drying with that super hot record heat. Again, a potential. There's the rain building, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama by Thursday. Spotty showers uh, elsewhere around. Now, let's go out in time further, and I want to show you a couple big buildups of rain. And this is when we'll start to watch out for some development. Look in here. This is by the weekend. We'll start to get our signs of uh, Alvin developing out here. We'll see if it does. Both the American model and the European model are starting to develop this area. Conditions and 
uh, environmental conditions are conducive for that. Now, the American model wants to swing this closer to Mexico. I'll monitor that. The European model wants to swing this area, kind of just staying over water. By early next week, we'll be watching out to see how close this gets to Mexico. Again, this could be Tropical Storm Alvin here in the Eastern Pacific. So as we go forward, I'll be highlighting that further for parts of Central America in through Mexico. And then on the back side of this, we're gonna watch additional rain building in the Western Caribbean. That'll try to surge eventually toward the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. So here's the American model. By the time we get into May 29, so we're down the road a little bit. As we get into the following uh, Thursday, watching out for the potential of a tropical storm near parts of Mexico. Then we'll see if it does that or if it just kind of stays out to sea. Then we see the next area of rain building in. And this is what we've been talking about for a while. Models picking up on a big area of rain. Now in this, I'm not seeing signs of development at this point. Water temperatures are very warm, so a monitor, it's just kind of a spot to watch. I showed you the European model, how to had about a 30% chance of development, nothing too high in this area, but nonetheless, by early late May, early June, we're going to see a lot of rain, parts of the Western Caribbean. So we'll either monitor the flooding or the potential of some tropical development or, or both. So this is a spot we'll be watching as we go forward. Definitely has my attention, nothing alarming, just an area that we will watch uh, together. Now this here, back toward the U.S., the severe weather threat uh, near Kentucky, Tennessee, northern sections of Alabama, Mississippi today in particular, for the potential of damaging winds and tornadoes today as this system kind of lifts through. Then by tomorrow, some of that rain stretching back toward the Mid-Atlantic, Great Lakes, parts of Ontario and uh, Quebec, and then over toward New England. Here's Bermuda, most of the rain stays away. By Thursday, some of the rain really feeding in uh, to parts of New England. It's been kind of cool in spots, South, it's been baking with that heat dome, but watching these systems up here and then the Atlantic region of Canada by Friday, we'll see a chance of some rain, and then we'll monitor another severe weather threat through parts of the uh, middle United States. It's been cool up here, very stormy right here, super hot right here, and then we'll monitor any tropical development back through parts of the Caribbean. So hit or miss storms the next couple of days, but mainly on the dry side in these locations. Cuba, we may get one on our eastern end, Bahamas, were mainly dry, super hot back through uh, Florida and the uh, Bahamas. Hit or miss shower storm in Jamaica. We've had a couple of those downpours the last few days. Thank you for doing me the favor of leaving your comments, what your weather is, whether it's nice or not nice, and your location as we build this weather community. And thank you for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. Hit or miss Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, but we still need to be mindful this time of the year. If we get a storm, it could be strong. It could give us some gustier winds and some of those tropical downpours that could lead to some flooding concerns. Still monitoring a slightly better chance of rain near Trinidad and Tobago. A few spots in the next three days may pick up upwards of about 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain, but higher totals, four inches or 100 millimeters the next few days, parts of Guyana and Suriname again lots of moisture in here and I'll monitor how much that kind of pulls in and then watching out for some uh, flooding parts of interior sections of Venezuela and over toward Colombia ABC islands we may get a couple showers clipping by I'll show you that in a moment Costa Rica Panama still those areas of mudslides that we've had and some of the flooding hit or miss Guatemala and El Salvador Belize for example Honduras we have been too dry and so hot back through uh, the Yucatan Peninsula Mexico but some hit or miss storms uh, moderate Array back toward uh, Mexico City. Now the seas are not bad. The Atlantic waters are going to be a little bit choppier near Bermuda coming off the coast of the United States as we get through the end of the week. This here is by Thursday. A bit of a uh, chop by the end of the week in the uh, central sections of the Caribbean. So 40% chance of a shower storm for us today. And over the next couple of days in Jamaica, we have been very hot and mainly dry back through the uh, Cayman Islands. Hard to uh, buy any rain at this point. Trinidad and Tobago, a 40% chance of scattered showers for us uh, again today, monitoring some of the rivers from some of the rain we already had. 20 to 30% chance of a couple showers, Barbados, and about a 30% chance the next three days in St. Lucia. Next couple of days in Grenada, some isolated showers will be a possibility. About a 30% chance, and about a 40% chance of some scattered showers around today, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Isolated showers in Martinique, we're looking at about a 30% chance of a shower in Dominique. 
Dominica and running at a 30% chance the next couple of days in Guadeloupe. Rain chance today about 30% Antigua Barbuda, 20% tomorrow. You see how it has gone down. It's gone down. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, boy, a few days ago, we were dealing with heavy rain. We were dealing with the flooding in some locations, but again, that rain chance has gone down. It's gone down Anguilla and St. Bart's. Lots of sunshine around overall. 20% chance of a shower. St. Martin, Sabin, Stasia. Still a chance of some scattered storms around and a few scattered showers. Puerto Rico today, a 40% chance, but we're down to a 20% chance. St. Croix, Tortola, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Bahamas, very hot, mainly dry, very hot Turks and Caicos, mainly dry, some isolated showers and storms in the Dominican Republic, pop-up shower storm possible in Haiti. Otherwise, we are baking. It is super hot. Belize, we have been way too dry again. Late month, early into next month, that better chance of rain. Aruba, slight chance of a shower, but as we swing back toward Curacao, Bonaire, a slightly better chance. About a 40% chance of a passing shower today, uh, but even more so tonight while you're sleeping. There may be a couple showers around 60 to 70% chance of some heavy areas of rain in both Guyana and Suriname. That pattern continues. 20% chance in Cuba. We are hot. 70 to 80% chance of some rain again, Costa Rica and Panama. 30% chance in Nicaragua, and you see the next few days mainly dry in much of uh, Honduras. Rain chance 50%. Guatemala and El Salvador. A couple pop-up showers and storms around Mexico City. We flip over to the uh, uh, peninsula, though. Generally dry and very hot. 50 to 60% chance of rain northern Colombia. And about a 60% chance monitoring some flooding in northern Venezuela. Bermuda, most of the showers the next two days will be uh, running up to the north. The seas, though, will be picking up. So that tropical wave marches across the Atlantic. No signs of development. Many more tropical waves will be behind it. But we'll see how these tropical waves kind of add to the moisture in the Caribbean and I'll be watching the Western Caribbean later this month for that buildup of rain I showed you. Those water temperatures are warm. We'll watch out for any development and then Alvin that may try to develop in the Eastern Pacific. We're just days away now from the official start of hurricane season. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a wonderful day ahead.